Welcome to Coach's Corner in our first show of the uh, of the football season. And tonight we're uh, we're here in our own homes again, doing a virtual Coach's Corner. And uh, we've got um, three quarters of the uh, of the uh, foursome that does Coach's Corner. Bobby uh, Bigder is here with uh, Billy Offaly. And head coach of the Shrewsbury Colonials, uh, coach head coach John Aloisi is here. And uh, tonight I've been uh, dubbed as the host, and I'm Nick Tedisco. Uh, John, uh, we kick off our football season, five-game season, I believe, on uh, Friday night at Wachusett. Congratulations. I thought I'd never saw the, see the day come that uh, you'd be uh, playing a football game this season. I, I didn't think we were going to see that either. Um, kids are really excited. We're all really excited to get out there. It's actually a, a six games. We have a five game regular, sure. and then they have a sixth week for uh, makeups in case there's anything crazy happens. Or um, I think there might be. There's a potential for like a little bit of a pod championship um, for the five teams, or the sorry, the six teams in our group. Um, the top two would play uh, a championship game. So I don't know if that's uh, been. Uh, confirm that sixth week, but it's a possibility. Who's who are the people in the fight in the pod, Jen? So <clears throat> you have um, obviously Shrewsbury. Um, we have Wachusett, Darty, Lemonster, Algonquin, and Shepherd Hill. Ah, so cool. it's actually our typical division. Usually in our division, we have seven teams. Right. Um, and and this this year we have six. St. John's is playing in the uh, Catholic League pod. So it's uh, which is pretty, a good thing, I think. It's pretty typical schedule. Yeah. yeah, we're we're so thrilled to be playing. I just the kids are are really happy about it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So there'll be no playoffs. Just so the folks at home know, there, there won't be any playoffs. It's just a, a five six game season, and um, with the teams you that you just mentioned, and I know that um, I don't know if you can clear just clarify a little bit for me. Um, I know that they're changing the whole scheme of the uh, division one, two, and three throughout the state uh, coming the fall. Um, uh, bring, you know, kind of like, I mean, St. John's is not in our division, I don't believe. Um, anymore. Are they like a super division one or something like that. I don't know if we'll be playing them going forward or. I know that South High School is in Division One now um, in our group, South High Worcester. So that's a little bit different. Yeah, we'll be in Division One, and actually St. John's will be in Division One. And okay. I think there's thir around 30 teams in the division. Um, you know, we'll be with the with the big big boys. You know, the Everett's and Zavarians and Catholic Memorials and Springfield Centrals of the world. Um, so we'll be uh, it'll definitely be a step up for us in terms of competition. So. Um, we're looking forward to the challenge. We'll have a lot of work to do to get ready for it, but uh, it'll be a uh, it'll be exciting to move up. Nick, I mean, John, uh, in the coming years, not this year, but we're knowing next year and the year after, could we be playing the Eastern teams in our schedule? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be yeah. so. So it's essentially it's a statewide tournament, and you'll still have the eight games you play in the regular season, but. Um, in order to, you know, they'll, they'll sort of be a uh, rating system similar to what we've been doing, but it's going to be across the state. And uh, we, we would need, in order to qualify for the playoffs, we'd need to play Division One teams. And in Central Mass, there's only, I believe, four Division One teams. There's Shrewsbury, St. John's, Lemister, Wachusett. So that would leave five, you know, again, four teams, but three opponents for us. So um, there'd be five remaining games to fill. And we'd round out a couple, we, a couple of those games would be our league, uh, Shepherd Hill, Algonquin, um, who are not division one, but this will be in our league. Great. So that leaves three opponents. So we probably look to the East to play a couple of teams or West. Uh, actually, does West even have a division? West has sent, uh, Springfield Central. So, yeah, Springfield Central. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I think those remaining three games, we've done a little bit of work the last few months in reaching out to some mm -hmm. teams, Metro West area. You know, Acton, Boxborough, Newton North, Newton South, um, Lincoln Sudbury, Natick, those types of teams. Um, so, wow. yeah, it'll be be a, be a definitely be a new look. Yeah, 
Yeah. So that report that I saw with South High School in Worcester was an error then. South is not in Division One. You know, I think at one point they were being considered or they were in it. I'm not sure if they still are. I, I think they treat city schools a little different um, uh, in terms of, you know, like, I don't know if there's a formal multiplier, but uh, I don't think that they're, I don't think that they're division one. I think their enrollment would put them there, but I think that the people realize that they might have a tough time competing. So right. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I would agree with that. I just, I saw it on, on a list because when they first came out with the format, they had listed all the teams for central mass that are going to be in division one. And I was a bit surprised that to see South High School in there. So that's, yeah. I, I didn't, wasn't real, you know, didn't know that that had been changed. So, yeah. So what do you, what does your team look like coming into a Friday night? Yeah, we're, we're, you know, we got a bunch of great kids. Um, it's definitely a different looking team. We have um, some young kids who are, who've been pulled up to varsity. We have some athletes from other sports who've decided to play football for the first time who've come out um so it's it's a yeah it's a totally different look from last year in terms of kids on the field there's only a handful of kids returning with experience but um we're pretty confident in the ability of the kids we're just trying to coach them up as best we can and get them ready in, you know in a short time and we've had we've had reduced practices too so um not only a sh kind of a shorter preseason with no lifting and all that but 90 minute practices as well um okay we, we're really happy with our progress our kids are awesome They've been working hard, um, a little inexperienced, but you know, uh, we can we can work with that. Hey, Jed, before you go on, um, is it is the game actually at night or it's in the afternoon though, right? That four thirty, yeah, four thirty. And I heard there's a chance it might be postponed if we get any snow. <laughs> is that true? I I don't know. I certainly hope not. Yeah, um, I heard we were supposed to get two to four inches and. On Friday. Oh, is that? Yeah, the forecast is changing like the wind right now. Yeah. yeah I, I don't. I don't know. I think yeah. I'd love to play through it, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've, they've played in the snow on that field before, probably. Oh, so. oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, where do you get your information from? I heard it through the grapevine. Was um, um, I I can't say because I might get them in trouble. Okay. Uh, unnamed source. <laughs> unnamed, unnamed <laughs> source. Leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, I, I heard it. Uh, what's that? Leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. I still haven't heard from Jay if we can get, if we can go. I have an update for you. I got a text from him. We can talk uh, afterwards. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, uh, oh, John, I, I, I had the honor of uh, watching a couple of scrimmage games on TV. Yeah. And uh, from what I can see, Fitchburg's got its arrogance back. They look <laughs> Only because really? they looked a little bit better than they have been in the past. They they were the very good. Years. They were very they were. good. It was a great challenge for us. Very athletic and physical. Uh, they, I think they're going to have a special year. Their division, obviously, not in our pod. But, um, yeah, they brought a lot of swagger to, the, to our field that day. <laughs> Didn't they ever? <laughs> to put it lightly. It's funny you even noticed that through the, uh, you know, through the camera. Because if you were there, you know, it was obviously a little more evident. But, um no, they were, <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting day. Uh, yeah. A lot of extracurriculars that day. You know, I, I, I noticed it right away, John, when uh, one of the linemen was downfield and he's walking, he's walking back to the huddle and one of our guys was walking in front of him. He just pushed him. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's a typical Pittsburgh move. There was a lot of that. There was yeah. a lot of that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of stuff that was happening that wasn't seen on the camera. It was, uh, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, uh, it was funny. Match. Our kids kept their cool pretty well, so. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah. And you picked that up with a robot camera, uh, Billy? I saw it, Nick. I just. Really? You know, I, mean, I, I said, wow. I mean, they, they look good, and they were arrogant, and I says, yeah, this is the old Fitchburg. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, 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 this, I think this is their, I think they have a pretty special team. They have a great tailback. Um, yeah. And I know they were a tough team last year, and they were young, so. Yeah. I think uh, I think they're primed for a great year. So yeah, it was a good, it was a really good matchup. Uh, good them. luck to them. Good luck to them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They've had a number of down years now, so they're yeah. due to come back. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they've been, they've we been played... improving every year, though. Right. The last two, three hard. years. Yeah. Yeah, we played they're them in twenty four. My first year, we played them. Actually, we beat them that year, twenty fourteen. They they won the district that year. 
Um, we beat them in the regular season. 2015, we played them. I remember the field goal that went over the um, oh yes over the upright. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we lost by a point. And then, um, yeah. in but that we that was our that was our really our one down year, 2015. That was 2015. that was a good that was a good field goal, by the way. I know, I agree. Yeah, and then 2016 we beat them pretty good. Um, but we hadn't played we haven't played them since. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think I forget which one of you guys just mentioned it, but I think each year they've gotten a little bit better and they've gotten more kids out. So yeah. they they yeah they were we knew they were going to be athletic coming in um there always are but the physicality they brought friday was um i was it was impressive and it was good for us uh to kind yeah. of I think it woke us up a little bit which is good yeah yeah, yeah good well how about your coaching staff john what do you guys what do you got coming back and any new guys or we lost christian jackson uh no yeah what happened, happened? where'd he go so he just moved on to he got oh. a, he was in education and he went he got a job in the private sector uh so he he does he badly wanted to continue coaching, but um his schedule wouldn't permit because oh, that's too bad. Too bad. I yeah. love Christian. Yeah, he was awesome. So, yeah. um, yep. but we got Jeff Lane. I don't know if you guys know Jeff Lane. He used to be the head coach at Worcester Tech. Um, he was at Worcester. He's an AD in Worcester, uh, for some time. He's actually the director of phys ed in our school. He's got. He's oh, yeah, I, I met Jeff. Yeah, at basketball yeah. games. He's great. He's coached yeah. forever. He's coached at four different colleges. He's been a head high school coach. I mean, it was a great score for us. Uh, coach Pinto's back. Ah, good. Uh, oh, nice. One, one year hiatus. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a good thing. Yeah. We got an old guy back. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll look forward to hearing him this year again. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have, we have a lot. Uh, Joe Pitarino, um, who doesn't live in town, but uh, his, his son lives in town. He's, he's helping out as a volunteer. Uh, Bruce Pinto is actually a volunteer too. Um, yeah. So those two, those two guys are, are, uh, are new to the staff. And like I said, we lost Christian, but otherwise we're, we're intact from a year ago. Tell us uh, about the, uh, the line of offensively uh, first, please. Offensive line. Uh, well, the, the whole offense. Oh. Who's your quarterback? Let's start with that. Quarterback. We have, um, we have two kids who are vying for the job. They're both really capable kids, different types of uh, quarterbacks. Jack O'Sullivan, who's a junior, uh, and uh, A.J. Ham, who you guys saw a little bit last year at receiver and, and um, D-back. They're both doing a really good job. They're neck and neck for the job. They'll probably both play this year. Um, you know, if one separates themselves from the other, then they might, you know, earn the sole job. But I think to start, we'll probably have both kids on the field. And uh, they both, Jack's a little bit of a bigger pocket passer and AJ's a little smaller, but a little, little more, a uh, little more speed and quickness to the position. So they complement each other. Nice. I don't know if you guys remember my first year, we had Maddie, Maddie Bonolo and Jack, Jack uh, Campanelli. Um, oh, we, yeah. we use them both. I mean, we usually use two cues every year, but the second one's usually in a, uh, like a wildcat run type role um, where these guys might be more of a true platoon system, but. Uh, we're going to take a week by week and see uh, see how they each look. Are they uh, seniors, juniors? They're both juniors, which is great. They'll both be back okay. in the fall, yeah. It's going to be such a quick turnaround to the fall. It's really Yeah, really, you know? really. When the season ends, we're going to have about, I don't know what it is, how many weeks, 12 weeks until we get back at it, So, which is great. Frank, you're in, you're yeah, in spring good. training. Yeah, yeah I, I keep, I'm forgetting. I mean, my world, like, revolves around the season. So I keep thinking that. I've made it, I keep thinking that I'm in the fall. Yeah. <laughs> I make comments to people and say, hey, uh, you know. So you, you turned the clocks back the other night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, they were supposed to go forward? <laughs> yeah. I, I uh, heard, I saw not to interrupt, but uh, I saw where Holy Cross is starting to play now, too. Yeah, they won Saturday. Really? Yeah. yeah. They, who they wow. beat Lehigh, I think, or yeah. somebody. Yeah. 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 yeah, so they're playing the same type of schedule we are, I guess. Yeah, I think they have four games. Yeah, I think they split the pay. I think they split the Patriot League in half and have two groups, and they're each playing a few yeah. games. So. No, that's good. It's good for them. Yeah. yeah. Hey, running back, John. What do you got running this year? Uh, we got a lot of different kids. I mean, you know, we've mostly usually depending on our formation, we'll have up to three backs in our offense. We have um, Jack Peters at fullback, um, Timmy Rafolo at fullback, um, our, our halfbacks. We have. Um, Cam Jenkins, uh, Owen Keeley, 
Uh, Timmy Rafolo mixes in at that a little bit. Jake Mulholland uh, is a halfback. He actually hurt his wrist earlier. And he hurt it snowboarding, actually, like a month ago. Oh, well. He's on the shelf right now, but he'll be back pretty soon. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we have we have really good depth at the running back spot. And then um, our offensive line, we have Grady Rodman's a three-year starter uh, who's who's doing a great job. He's headed to Springfield College next year. Oh, nice. Uh, Oh, nice. Harry Zelinsky, big Harry. If you guys remember number 70 from last year, he's a yes. oh, yeah. 6'5", about 280 pounds. Brings yeah. back some experience. Um, Ethan Friedman's doing a really good job at center for us. He was a backup center last year. He stepped right in, did, done a good job. Shuki Lin's a left guard uh, who's uh, doing good things. Victor Verma is a, a backup guard for us who's getting in the mix. Uh, Branson Lee, do you guys remember Grayson remember Branson, Lee? Yeah. 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 Grayson yeah. was... Um, two-way tackle for us in 2016 our, our state championship run team it's uh his younger brother branson who's who's grown a lot he's about 6'3 230 right now wow. Wow. so good. we have some pretty good size up front we don't have a lot of um you know our, our number two guys are, are actually smaller a lot smaller but our, our first string line's pretty good size um and we're actually because we have limited time this year we only have 90 minute practices Right. So we decided as a coaching staff that we're playing kids only one side of the ball. Um, our, right. linemen, our linemen are actually playing both ways, O and D, but our, all the other guys are playing uh, one side. Because if we had 90-minute practices, when you start to break it down, if you have you know 10 minutes of stretching, 10 minutes yeah, of right. calisthenics and conditioning, 15 minutes of special teams, um, you know, it leaves you about, it leaves you hardly any time to try to teach anything if you have to do, if you have to train kids in all three phases of football. So right. every, kid, every kid will play special teams and every kid will or major in either offense or defense for just for this spring. Uh, it's worked out pretty well. I think the kids will be prepared Friday uh, because we've been able to do that. Okay. I, I noticed one of the wide receivers being a basketball player, I guess. Was it that? Is that right? Uh, Harith came out for for football for a couple of days and just decided decided not to. Uh, yeah, it was on. Yeah, we yeah we were hoping he was gonna work out, but it just didn't work out. So it would have been a nice addition for us. Yeah, yeah. We have a we couple of kids. We we have um uh well I'll I'll answer wide receiver and then I'll get back to the kids we have from other sports. But um, wide receivers, Keelan Green, who yeah. played as a sophomore, yep. didn't pull out. He's back. Yeah, he he looks really good. Um, Brady Soldo, um, is a junior. Keelan's a senior, Brady's a junior. Um, we have Rocco Hickson who played a little bit of receiver for us last year, um, who can play some tight end and split end. Matt, Billy, you got another Rocco. Another sorry. Rocco. Another Rocco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rocco. Johnny likes Rocco. that. Game. Yeah. And then no, Matt, hey, hey, John, yeah. if, um, if Jack, Jack O'Sullivan's playing quarterback. Is AJ going to play wide receiver? Yeah, that actually, we just started working him in the last few days just to yeah. get some. I mean, he knows he knows most of the assignments out there, but yeah, AJ's a good athlete, so we're just trying to get yeah, him. He's a very good athlete, possible. Yeah, good, good. But the advantage of pro playing kids one way is, you know, during practice, usually we'd have offensive portion of practice, and everybody would be practicing offense, and then you know, for say thirty minutes or forty minutes, and then we'd go move to D, and everybody would go over to D, and we. But now you everybody's practicing simultaneously. So I guess you get double the time. Right, right. The offense is at one end of the field working for that's for you know 50 or 60 minutes and the defense is at the other who, end. Who does the offense? Who's your co offensive coach? Is that you? Yeah, it's me and um Coach Pinto is uh, on the line. Yeah. And uh Coach Ellis is a running back. Oh, okay. Yep. And uh Coach Theodos is the receivers. You know, it's funny, we have we have on our staff. We had I did I we we created a website uh, a few a couple months ago, and when I really put down on paper our coaching staff and we have four guys on our staff that have been head coaches, wow. in high school we have four guys on our staff that have coached in college, wow. um, seven guys on the staff that played college football. I mean, when you like look at the on paper, um, I, I feel really blessed with the guys we have because yeah. I don't know that there's a lot of coaching staffs out there that have the resumes that these guys have. Um, so it's uh, it definitely, I think it shows with, uh, you know, how well our kids are coached by, by yeah, the, right, right. but I was going to mention earlier on, on the, we have a couple of kids are on the defensive side, but Jamison Alicandro, you guys know, Jamison hockey kid. 
Oh yes, I remember the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, his son, his brother Jake, actually played for us a few years back. Yeah, but I remember Jake, that. Jameson's a senior, and he came out for football this year because hockey. Nice. Was, yeah, so he's nice. playing safety for us. Ryan King, soccer player. Yeah, I remember um, Ryan because I did a couple games. Now it's a couple games. Yeah, they were really starting for us on defense, and that, that's kind of when I mentioned that you know they're really good athletes. They're learning a lot, um, and that's kind of why it's a little bit of a different look. And Ryan King's a great weapon as a kicker. Um, so we're excited to have those two guys. And Leith Khan is a soccer goalie. He came out. He's playing yeah, for yeah. us. So Leith, I pretty, remember him too, yeah. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have the you know the two soccer kids. And um, Ryan Lambert's a freshman hockey player who came in as well. So, right. um, you know, we got a few kids from other sports, which was, which again, is kind of cool, you know. It's yep. nice. Yep, it's nice. Anytime they play more than one sport, it's always a plus. I think absolutely should be more of it, you know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Can so you throw John, some more names at us, John, from the defense? Defensively, yeah. Defensively, we have. Uh, let me think here. We got Zach For. I'll start with the D line. Um, Zach Fornell, uh, Dom Salitro, <clears throat> um, Luca Fitosa, and then again Luca. we have we have those guys. <laughs> Linemen were able to train both ways because when we do special teams periods in practice. There aren't any linemen on our kick or kick return team. So when we practice special teams, the linemen, they now they they practice the other side of the ball um, during that time. Um, linebackers, we've got Matt Power, who's a junior captain as an inside backer. Um, we have uh, Hayden Duffy, who's a junior captain. I'm sorry, he's a senior captain, uh, who's an inside linebacker. Uh, Caleb Jouer is an inside backer. We have uh, Cooper Ackerman as a freshman. Who will be starting a defensive end for us. Uh, Sean Butler is starting a defensive end, first year football player as yeah. a junior, which again speaks to kind of what I said earlier that we have good, tough kids, just a lot of kids that are learning a lot. We have a freshman at one D end, and the other D end is a first year player. Uh, two of our DBs are kids from other sports, just playing for the first time. So um, a lot of kids that are, like I said, the experience is not there, but um, we'll take it. Like I said, they're really good athletes. So Secondary wise, we have, um, I mentioned Ryan King is a corner on uh, Jamison Alicandro plays safety. Ryan McTeague, I'm sorry, Connor McTeague is a transfer from Holy Name. He's a senior. He's a safety. Um, TJ Welsh, sophomore, playing, he's playing safety for us. And uh, Magnus Divers is a senior playing corner. Magnus, yep. As is Ethan. Remember that name. Yeah. Um, and again, Mag Magnus Magnus was is not a returning starter. He saw a little bit of varsity time last year, but uh, he's been he's had a solid preseason. Good, yeah. Good. Quite how many, John, how many people was, on the team, John? How many how many guys? Ninety four. Wow. Yeah, so that's it's about, wow. It's yeah, that's about normal. Um, we've had we've been ninety to hundred pretty consistently each of the last well, I think since I've been here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're pretty pleased because the last two uh, eighth grade classes coming out of youth were small. Um, and we've been able to, you know, get a lot of kids out as freshmen to keep our numbers healthy, which has been great. Uh, and are you going to just have one JV team? Yeah. Yeah. So we split the kids basically right down the middle. So ninth and 10th graders are JV and 11th and 12th are um, varsity. But there's some sophomores that came up and yeah. there's some juniors that, that have gone down for a variety of reasons. So. Um, but we actually have roster limits of 45. So, um, we're going to have, um, on game nights, we're only have, we're supposed to have 45 on the sideline. So we yeah. have to work that out. Yeah. But, oh, we got about five more minutes and I got, I have two questions for you. Uh, now is this your sixth or seventh year? Seventh year. Oh, yeah. Seventh yep. year. Wow. Congratulations. That's yeah. That's, that's great. That's yeah. that's question number one. I, I wanted to get that out of the way. And the other one was, um, how many more years do we have to wait before your guys are playing for you? <laughs> yeah, really. Well, my I oldest. Know that, my I know oldest, your oldest is playing. I know he's playing. No, my my youngest actually plays. My oldest. Oh, yeah. My oldest is thirteen. He just turned thirteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know you guys have all been through it. You know what I'm about. Yeah, we've been there. We've done that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, my youngest is a 10 year old and he loves, he loves the sport. So he'll be, he's a fifth grader. So he'll be up in the blink of an eye. Right? Yeah, that goes by fast. 
Yeah, my oldest plays lacrosse and a little bit of basketball, but he doesn't play football. Yeah. So I got I got to ask you one question, though. Coach Ellis, this kid, where <laughs> is he now? <laughs> He's in eighth grade. He's in eighth grade. Oh, okay. Eighth grade. Yeah, he'll be with us next year. We're looking forward to having him. Yeah, that, that same thing. I mean, geez, just seems like just yesterday he was, you know, I yeah. know. eight or nine Fourth years grade, old. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's going to be playing. It know. goes by fast. John, what choose it Friday night? Uh, Friday afternoon. I keep saying night. Friday afternoon. Um, what do you expect? The same old from what choose it? Same old smash up the middle, you know, that type of football? Totally. Yeah. We, we swapped scrimmage film with them. Uh, they scrimmage Grafton. We scrimmage Fitchburg. And, um, they're yeah they're they're typical watch you sit well coached physical um they want to run the football but they actually have a pretty good quarterback this year who i think they're they're throwing the, maybe they're throwing the ball a little bit more um they'll be it, i mean it will be a great battle as it always is i mean we we beat them three out of the last four years but it's like you know <laughs> every game we them, every game we play is just it's a heavyweight battle and uh the games have been so competitive that um it's, you know, it's awesome. I mean, it's just, just a great match. And it's funny that that's the last team we played, right? 2019 overtime game. Yeah, that's right. That's um, right. We actually had that JV game with overtime as well the week before. Uh, and wow. then uh, now they're our first opponent back. It's, it was sort of interesting. I think they randomly selected the schedule, but we typically end with them, but we're starting with them now. So it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah there's always yeah, be waiting. Always so we'll, be, we'll be expecting like a turkey dinner after the game. <laughs> Well, I haven't mean to ask Jay. So are we bringing the trophy? Are we bringing that trophy? <laughs> yeah, really? That's right. You know, yeah, there's right. always a lot of drama with watch use it. Always. Yeah. No, it seems that way anyways. Yeah. And it's always cold there. So we're going to be cold yeah. again if we do go. But you, you, know, you know. I grew up on Nantucket and we used to play at the Vineyard. And yeah. I yeah. would always say that when we played at the Vineyard, it was never sunny. It was always, always. I mean, you know, you'd look at the forecast. It would be sunny for six days prior. And every time we went to the Vineyard, it was gray. And cold. Yeah, yeah. I feel the same about what you said. Every time we go to what you said, <laughs> yeah, it's snow, like going to Seattle. There's snow, the threat of snow, there's winds over 50. It's there's always yeah. it's always something. So so when when is the uh homecoming game? The, the first game of the home <laughs> game. Uh we we are we open at what you said, and then we have three straight home. Okay. And then we end at um we end at Shepherd Hill. So our bookend games are away, and then we have a three <laughs> home. Oh, that's have, good. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice what, to have a what's stretch. the regulations for parents or uh, fans? Put it that way. Yeah, so we're allowed when we host a game, each uh, kid will be able to give out two lanyards, so two two fans per kid. So that's ninety players if you count right. five on 90, each side. It's hundred fans. fans. Yeah, Wachusett actually, I don't believe that they can host our fans, so they're just going to have their own parents. Oh. Okay. I don't know what the logistics logistical reason is. It's really unfortunate, but uh, you know. Yeah, that's the way it is. It well, is. we got about one more minute, and we don't have to ask any kids any questions about college yet. Where do you want to go, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> Holy Cross. College yeah, of Holy Cross. Cross. There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> so. I don't know maybe we'll get your uh, your captains on, John, and you can bring them on next week if we do a show next week. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate you guys uh getting me on. This is fun. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. As always, yep. Place is a lot of always. Nicky, just for the heck of it. Nicky, this is our twenty second year, Billy. Twenty second year. I was just gonna ask that. Twenty second year. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, right? It is crazy. All right, folks. Well that'll wrap it up for another edition of Coach's Corner. Johnny Mastro, we missed you. And we'll see you next week. And uh, Bobby and Billy, thank you very much again. John, always a pleasure to have you on. Thanks, Good guys. Luck, John. Good, yeah. luck. Good luck. Good luck, Friday. See you next week on Coach's Corner.